Hello everyone. I am Dr. Ashok Jaiswal and today we are going to discuss about GINA that is Global Initiative for Asthma 2023 recently released updates. So GINA 2023 it gives us certain clarification and update on medication terminologies which are used for asthma management and one of the important terminologies which is introduced by GINA 23 is anti-inflammatory reliever category medications and under this we call it AIR under this category you will have asthma treatment medications which contain inhaled corticosteroid for their anti-inflammatory property plus they would be containing rapid acting bronchodilator for their quick relief in asthma symptoms so that's why this category is called anti-inflammatory reliever category air now when we talk about rapid bronchodilator medication then you have predominantly two options number one for motrol it's a lava but still it has a rapid onset of action so it is rapid acting bronchodilator and second option which we have is short acting beta agonist. So under air category, you will have two options. Number one, that is ICS plus formotrol combination and number two, ICS plus SABA combination. Then maintenance therapy are those asthma medications which are prescribed for use every day. Even when patient doesn't have symptoms like inhaled corticosteroid containing treatment like ICS monotherapy, ICS lava dual combination or ICS lava lama triple combination. Then we use leukotriene receptor antagonist and certain biologic therapy. This all comes under the category maintenance therapy. Then we have controller therapy means those medications which target both the domains of asthma control, asthma symptoms, as well as the future risk. Another terminology is reliever medication or reliever therapy are those inhaler which are taken for quick relief of asthma symptoms like SABA or as needed ICS formotrol or as needed ICS SABA. These are reliever therapy. And then a very important medication terminology we have that is MARD, maintenance and reliever therapy. That is ICS and formotrol combination. ICS and formotrol combination is a medication which is recommended for the use as a maintenance therapy, that means as daily therapy, as well as the same combination is also recommended as a reliever treatment as and when required at the time of increase in the asthma symptoms. So that's why ICS formatrol combination is falling under the category of MART maintenance and reliever treatment. Then GINA 2023 it continues recommending personalized asthma management and it recommends continuous cyclic assessment, adjustment and review of our ongoing asthma treatment. So what should we assess before we begin with our treatment? We need to assess or we need to first confirm the diagnosis if it is not documented prior. Now the Diagnosis recommendation by GINA 2023 is very much similar as that prescribed by GINA 2022. That means presence of typical variable respiratory symptoms of asthma plus presence or documented variable expiratory airflow limitation on spirometry. Then we need to assess the symptom controls. What are the modifiable risk factors, comorbidities? What are the inhaler techniques adopted by the patients and what about the adherence and what are the patient preferences and the goal? Accordingly, you will adjust your treatment that is treatment of modifiable risk factors, non-pharmacological and pharmacological treatment of asthma, education which is very very important in the treatment of asthma. So once you adjust your treatment then you must review. 
the outcome and the result of your treatment during follow up review what are the symptoms what are the exacerbation any side effects how are the lung functions and what is the level of patient satisfaction so this is the principle based on which gina 2023 recommends treatment of asthma now gina 2023 again provides us two track for the management of asthma in adult and adolescent more than 12 years of age track 1 and track 2 let's discuss track 1 remember track 1 is recommended as a first line asthma treatment and track 1 is a preferred controller and reliever therapy with one medication which is ics formotrol combination so in track 1 gina once again recommends ics formotrol as a maintenance therapy that is daily maintenance treatment as well as ics formotrol as needed reliever therapy in track 1 you will not find place for short acting beta agonist because various rcts have established that as needed ics formotrol reliever it is associated with significant reduction in the risk of exacerbation as compared to saba containing reliever medication so what is track 1 one? once again it is a step wise treatment approach if the patient has mild symptoms of 4 to 5 days in a week duration then you would go for step 1 and 2 that is as needed low dose ics formotrol as needed not maintenance if the patient has a little bit more asthma symptoms or patient is waking up with asthma once a week or more then go for step 3 treatment that's where you will give continuous low dose ICS formotrol as a maintenance treatment now if symptoms are further increase that means a frequent asthma waking or decline in lung function then go for step 4 treatment that is medium dose maintenance ICS formotrol and if the patient is still remain uncontrolled symptomatic then you will go for step 5 treatment approach wherein you have various options like you may consider adding a laba to ongoing ics formotrol or you may consider adding biological therapy or consider further increase in the dose of ongoing ics formotrol treatment remember across the various steps in track 1 whenever the patient requires reliever as needed reliever then track 1 gives you the option of only ics formotrol combination so this is called mart maintenance and reliever with ics formotrol combination now what is track 2 treatment remember track 2 treatment is an alternative controller and reliever treatment and uh, track 2 should be implemented when track 1 is not possible this track 2 treatment approach it gives you option of prescribing saba reliever as needed saba or saba containing uh, reliever medication but we need to make sure before prescribing saba containing reliever therapy that our patient is likely to adhere to ics containing daily controller treatment this is very important because if patient consume plain saba monotherapy as a reliever without background ics treatment then such strategy may be associated with increased future risk of exacerbation so what is track 2 once again it is a step wise treatment approach based on the symptomatology so if the patient has a very mild symptoms go for step 1 wherein you will give uh, as needed saba only but whenever patient takes saba make sure patient also take inhaled corticosteroid then if the patient has more symptoms for 4 to 5 days a week then step 2 that's where we will give continuous daily ics monotherapy as a maintenance treatment 
and you can add saba or ics saba as needed at the time of increase in asthma symptoms now if, when the patient has more symptoms and history of waking with asthma once a week or more then you will go for step 3 treatment that is low dose continuous maintenance therapy with ics laba and if the symptoms are further increased and the lung functions are declining then go for step 4 that is medium to high maintenance dose ICS lava. If patient is still symptomatic at step 4 treatment, then you have step 5 treatment options, which gives you various options like considering adding a lama or a biological treatment, or you may further consider increasing the dose of ongoing ICS lava. And across the various steps in track 2, you have SABA or ICS SABA as needed as a reliever treatment. So, track 1 is preferred. Why? Because ICS formatrol as a reliever is found to be superior in terms of reducing severe exacerbation compared to SABA or SABA containing medications. The evidences for ICS and SABA combination is limited and once again the data suggests that combination of ICS formatron is associated with significant reduction in emergency department visit and hospitalization compared to plain SABA or SABA ICS combination and finally track 1 gives you the simplicity. Why? Because the same medication ICS formatrol is recommended as a daily maintenance treatment as well as as a reliever treatment at the time of increase in the asthma symptoms. Thank you very much for your patience.